EP FU2020 TikTok. I love you, kiss. Who wants to get clapped, boys? Oh, that was kind of nice. Smash that like button and you'll aim like that. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I am finally bringing you the video on the Xbox Elite Series 2. So, this is the box that it comes in, and this is the weird little egg pouch and here is the controller Ta -da! so i'm gonna be real with you guys one of the most important things when opening any product i look for is how professional and like cool i guess it feels and this is really really cool when you open it super professional packaging really awesome heavy feel that just makes it feel like it's a hundred percent worth the price then when i tried the paddles for the first time it just is just like the astro if you guys remember my astro video how i said the paddles as soon as i touched them they just felt right these are just like that they felt perfect and uh, i've never used a controller with four paddles other than the nacon and the nacon paddles felt terrible but these feel amazing and uh, you can't take them off. They, they're magnetic, they just slip off. The controller also comes with four extra thumbsticks depending on what you like. I personally am gonna leave these two because I'm gonna put a control freak on this one so it doesn't matter. And this one, I do like the concave ones for edits. It, I feel like concave is better for editing on the left stick. Uh, I'm gonna leave this D-pad just because I've never used one like this, so I wanna see what it's like, pretty cool. But yeah, that is the Xbox Elite Series 2. And uh, it also has these insane trigger stops. I did not know it even had those. Another cool thing is you can actually charge it through the case. So you plug in the controller, I mean the cable there. And then the controller, the thing that it sits on right here, actually charges it. So since this is an Xbox controller, they do have smaller sticks. I personally don't have control freaks other than these. I accidentally ordered these thinking they were for PlayStation, but these are actually the Xbox Inferno version. So it's actually a good thing I have them, I guess. Let's get this hooked up and see what it's like. All right, so right here is the Elite setup. Update required, okay. So while it does that, I guess let's go back to this. I also like that they, it has this grip on the like the handles. It kind of reminds me of the control free grips that you can buy for the PS4 controller. This one has it built in. The sticks are magnetic, which is pretty nice. Again, these trigger stops, I'm super interested to see what the really tight ones are like. Let me see if I can show you guys. So basically the trigger stop activated, that's all the way in already. You guys see how it barely even moved? That's already like clip. So that would count as a click on the game. And uh, I feel like that could make your building really good if you're struggling with fast building. But yeah, overall, this is definitely worth the price. I look at the packaging, the professionalism, the how comfortable it is, what it feels like when you're touching it. And this meets everything just as good as the Nacon did. Uh, the Nacon was five out of five straight up. And this is also five out of five. The only thing is I've heard a lot of horror stories on Twitter from say, people saying how quickly these will break on you. LD was telling me personally how he uh, his bumpers keep breaking and he has to keep sending it in for warranty and that just seems like it would really suck. All right, so it says this is test mode where you test if everything is working. So you can see right there with the trigger stops activated, just a tiny little tap and it registers it. That's really awesome. I'm actually super interested to see how those are gonna work. Why do I have to log in to change them, bro? There's no way. Wow, that's a name I have not seen in a very long time. That's some OG Modern Warfare 2 Xbox 360 days, bro. So that was ridiculous. I don't understand why you would have to log in to do that. I don't think you do. I just couldn't figure out how not to log in. Here we go. All right, so this is pretty cool. This reminds me of the Astro software. So I'm not actually using uh, these two paddles, right? The little ones. I'm just using the two big ones. All right, so this needs to be D-pad on, right? This, that needs to be a button i don't know what shift means but we'll just put them both as a all right so i think we're good to go now let's open up the game i guess wow all right so right away <laughs> i'll be honest i like this like it feels really nice it feels just like uh it feels like the astro but just different i'm not explaining it it feels like the Astro, but it feels lighter. For some reason, when I think of this controller, I think of like being on a cloud and floating. It just feels super like uh, very responsive and easy to press where the Astro is a bit more firm. It doesn't necessarily mean the Astro is bad, but uh, wow, yeah, I think I like this controller a lot. These, these sticks are so easy to click. 
Oh my god. Look at, look at how easily I can do double edits. Like, like they're so easy. I've never had a PS4 controller that has uh, sticks that are this easy to press. Biggest pro over any control I've ever used is uh, these sticks. How easy it is to press them. I love these trigger stops. They're even tighter than the Astro's trigger stops. But like I said, the biggest pro is not the trigger stops. It's this. Like, I wish I could have this on the Astro or on the PS4 controller. That's insane. The downside is the, the stick drift, as you guys can see, because the dead zone is too low. But yeah, I can now, I always used to watch people like LD and think, how can he edit so fast? It's insane. And with this, I can see it now. I cannot, I can totally understand how a really good player would be able to edit so fast with this. I feel like I could edit, like, maybe not that fast, obviously, but wow, this is nice. I mean, just look at that. The only thing is that I think I just got to get used to it. It feels a little weird, but that's just because I haven't used a Xbox controller in so long. All right, let's go test this out in a creative flow real quick and see what happens. Oh, we got a new gun game. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We got a brand new gun game. So y'all already know what that means. Oh, I almost died to that guy. Oh my god, I just did a triple RPG, bro. I didn't even get a kill for it. There's no way I just did that. I did a triple RPG, I didn't get a kill for it. That's messed up. I hit three bullets. What? Now we're talking, boys. Damn, they slapped it. Toxic. Get shit on. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean that. Oh. I know how. I'm correct. Yeah. I'm correct. He's not good. Right. Down from there, boy. Oh, what are you talking Saying at this, yo, whoever designed these guns, good job, bro. Good actual loadout this time. Huh. That's killing my kills, bro. I just hit four rockets in a row. You know what I got for it? Nothing. Oh, I just won. That was too fast, bro. GG, boys. Sorry, I took that too fast. Whoever made this map, turn it up to 30. EP FU 2020 TikTok. I love you kiss. How long have you guys been working on that, bro? Oh my god, look at this. What is this? Oh, first kill with the Xbox Elite. Not bad. Who wants to get clapped, boys? Xbox Elite first 1v1. Let's do this, buddy. What's up, Tico? You think you got something? Yeah, I think I just had to get used to it, honestly. Oh, that was kind of nice. Damn, you get no scope. Oh, and 200 oh, in the face. GG. GG, buddy. No better, boy. I already know scope you. <laughs> Who got no scope? Who just got no scope? I know what Ariel thought of it. Nice. Another one. 220 to the base, bro. I dare you, bro. I wait, you. wait, no, 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 bro. I don't want to. Oh, get out of my game, bro. Dude, these, these trigger stops are insane. Hey, boom, boy. Give me that. Oh! Okay. Do it, do it, do it! I did it. Oh my god! Alright, so I've used it for a bit, but I just realized the controller comes with this wrench, right? Like a little mini wrench that is supposed to be able to adjust the tension on the sticks. So this probably why I have stick drift. I need to tighten it down a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and YouTube how to do that real quick. So you guys can see there's a little notch, very tiny, 
and the key has that little notch that fits right into that. So you just twist it to the left or right. It was all the way to the left. It has three settings. It's just like a car key. So that's setting number three, setting number two, and setting number one. So it was on number one. We're gonna crank it up to three because I tend to like my sticks with high tension. No, I think that's too high. Never mind. Let's try number two, see if we like it. So it's a really good thing I looked that up because I had no idea and uh, I would I would have been struggling for all this time for nothing. So I'm gonna put the dead zone back down to five. Oh, that is so much nicer. I'm so <laughs> I'm so dumb for not realizing that. And I bet it was in the booklet that I didn't read because I never read directions. Nice. All right, guys, so that has been my review of the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. I use it with dual paddles with the super short trigger stops and Inferno Control Freak on the right stick. Overall, like I said, this controller is a straight 5 out of 5 when I get it right out the box. When compared to the Astro, I think they're both perfectly equal. I don't think one is better than the other. I think it's just preference. You know, if you're an Xbox kind of guy, go with this one. If you're a PS4 kind of guy, go with the Astro. The uh, biggest downside from this controller is just all the stories I've heard how fast they break. If it does break, you have to send it in if you have a warranty. And uh, that really sucks. But yeah, ultimately, controller is 100% worth the price that it costs. Super, I, I, it's, I love it. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it like this, but I love it. Even with that problem of, like, potentially having to replace it, I still love this controller. And uh, I'm excited to see what I can do with it. I feel like, I feel like if you want to be the ultimate creative warrior, this is for you. This is the best creative mode controller. If, you, if you're all about retake, space, sway type stuff, this is for you. So that has been the, uh, again, Xbox Elite 2. Coming up next is the Razer Raiju controller. I haven't opened it yet, but I will be opening that soon. Let me know what you guys thought of this controller and the review, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.